Hi guys, hope you guys are well and taking good care of yourselves. Thank you for joining me in another video. The last time I was here was like 10 years ago. A very, very different, you know, there was a lot of young crowds here. Um, things were very cheap. Not only were they cheap, um, it was really safe, right? Even though now, Senegambia, where I am, it is safe because there's a lot of tourism. However, the difficulty of the economy has made it so that everybody here is sort of hustling. It's kind of difficult to try to make friends because it's a hi, how are you, where are you from, oh, can you help me feed me, or I've got a family of kids and there's no roof in the house and this kind of thing. So they really pull at your heartstrings. Um, so it's difficult to get genuine friendships here. Luckily for me, I was able to navigate myself around to those who are already working rather than those who loiter the streets um, and you can find some genuine friendships genuine conversation in that regards the first person who took me to a village was a taxi driver um, he just stopped me randomly however we did get to feed some kids uh, the second person who took me um, he made it so that it was cheaper for me to spend so that I can get more for my money and give more to the kids. And that person was the security at the hotel. The next village I went to, Landin, if you remember him. Um, so it was Mo was the second interview or the first interview and Landin was the second interview. Landin is actually, he works here for the government. So he's someone that doesn't really need money, but I bless both of them anyway, because the average salary here is 5,000 to 6,000 Dallas a month. And that's like 50 to 60 bucks for us. And I just gave them a little, thank you for taking me here and there. And when it comes to the experience and spending habits, I had to really reduce the amount that I spend so I didn't go to all the restaurants. I literally found out where all the Gambians eat right and they don't eat where the tourists eat for something like benachin and rice you can get in a restaurant for like 550 reais i've been eating that for like 100 110 reais a day or per meal so i can utilize most of my money to feed the kids 10 days sacrifice for me to eat like a local i don't really consider it a sacrifice i lost a whole bunch of weight as well so i look damn good for 44 right okay so um, it's been humbling to eat like them, to see the situations the kids are going through and to be able to put smiles on their faces. This was never an ego thing. I've said to you before, none of these countries existed pre-colonialism. Everywhere in Africa was just called home, right? So everyone from here, which is Gambia, all the way through to Congo, we are all part of the same Mali Empire. So this is the reason why I started here, and I'm gonna hopefully go through West Africa doing exactly the same thing before going anywhere else. Um, I think the fact that the kids see someone like myself will give them hope because they can see themselves in me right and see that they can actually do this themselves this is why i encourage you if you are from the gambia or west africa but if you want to bless kids or bless others go to africa and do it yourself if you're unable to do it like i said i'm traveling west africa myself you can use me to donate to africa however what you need to do there are a whole bunch of links and ways to actually get funding to me right I have cash app once the account is monetized you can do that however what I do say is please whenever you donate if it is for children make sure you write the name of the country with your donations so that when I go there I know exactly how much and who's done what and then I will also uh, I, was, I know exactly how much who's done what and then I when I do it I'll record it so you know where your money is going um, however this is not a video about um, donations right 
if you do not have any money or if you want to test these waters to see whether I am genuine or not, all you need to do is like, subscribe and share. Once we get the channel to where it needs to be and it's generating a certain income, that income I will also use for West Africa and the things that I need to do, right? So you don't have to give any money, nothing like that. All you need to do is like, subscribe and share, all right? And if you like and subscribe and share, remember, I am not Mr. Beast. I don't have sponsors all over the place, but we're getting somewhere where we can give back. The beauty of giving in, in situations like this is not only do you give the children hope, you, you get some humbling feeling yourself. You also, in the West we call it karma, right? But by giving to children, give in to those who are less fortunate, your karma will come back not only fivefold but tenfold. You should see from what happens to me, let me be the example. Everything that happens to me will be a result of the kind of person I am and also the things that I've done. I also pray. So therefore, I believe in the one true creator like I've been telling you guys and his name is I am or Yahweh. I believe what I have done should get his attention in order for him to help me with all the things that I need and to also protect me from everything that is against me, right? So this is another reason why I did what I did because it's good karma. It really does come back to you. By doing this and showing you what I'm essentially doing is I'm leading by example. If it works for me, I'm pretty sure it will work for you. These people are very nice people, very humble people, but they call it the smiling coast of Africa. So these people are very joyous. The future of Gambians, the future of West Africans needs to change and it will start with the kids. For us, it's all over. For us, we've laid down for too long. We've kept quiet for too long. Now, yes, we're starting to speak out and speak up, which is good. This is good for the kids. We can make sure that moving forward, things are changing for us. As you already know, I'm a problem solver, so I want to give you an idea. And the idea is this, when you come and you give to schools and things like that, you have to remember a saying. There is a saying that goes like this, if you give a man a fish, he can eat for the day, but if you show him how to fish, he can feed himself for a lifetime. So, buying rice is good, it's cool, however, the rice will deplete within a matter of days because there are just a sheer amount of students eating this. If you buy poultry, chicken, you'll get them cheaper than a bag of rice. And if you do buy poultry, the schools can actually keep these hens and these hens will then produce eggs that they can then eat. Or if they don't eat the hens, at least if they leave, it for two, leave them for two months, they will have more hens which will then produce more eggs for them to eat and sell thus creating income for the school and then it can be self-sufficient right so i think it's a very good idea if you are to do anything like this is to get some chicken now i'm going to show you a video of the chicken that i saw you may have seen it in another video before but i want to just remind you this is not a uh, uh, uh animal cruelty type of thing this is the way that these chicken are being transported and if you, as a tourist, want to feed schools, if you're going to 10 schools, get two bags of chicken, which will have 11 hens in it, and they will be self-sufficient within six months. Okay, so this is, I believe, a solution for these schools because they will have food and a way of making income for the schools. It's, it's not, easy traveling between hotel and village to village but the, the the journey like i said is humbling you get to see so many different things see different ways of walks of life um and yeah you get to go to the village and see how people actually live and are actually content these people are not in it for the glitz and the glamour they just want to live a good life right so if you do want to give back, consider the poultry. If you do want to donate to this channel, 
in any way possible, make sure you write the name of the country. If you write a name of a country that is actively at war, my black ass ain't going there. I'm not going there. I'll say thank you for the money, but I ain't going there, right? So choose a place where either you're from or a place where you know that I can go safely and come back and, and that will be done. Um, as you already know, life for me is in Brazil and the UK. For Brazilians, just like Gambians or most African people, we are very hardworking people. All we need is the opportunity. So for Brazilians, handing out rice and chicken and things like that, it's not really something that will be beneficial. What will be beneficial is something for the community, which is what I'm working on as well. So you haven't seen me for a while. I've just given you a whole bunch of videos, letting you know that one, I am still alive. Your boy's 44. Um, I'm celebrating another year of life. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm active, very active. Not everything that I do is on social media, but I will be explaining everything to you in due course. Um, don't give up. No matter what it is that you want to do with yourselves, never give up. Always be persistent and go and get what you deserve out of this life. I'll see you guys in another video.